Don't you see, Mama? Everything I do winds up like this. How could I think you would understand? How could I think you would want a manicure? We could hold hands for an hour and I could go shoot myself. I'm sorry about tonight, Mama, but it's exactly why I'm doing it. Jessie, if you've got the guts to kill yourself, you've got the guts to stay alive. I know that, so it's really just a matter of where I'd rather be. Look, maybe I don't know what it is you should do, but that doesn't mean there isn't something out there that would help. You find it, you think of it, you can keep trying. You can get brave and try some more. You don't have to give up. I'm not giving up. This is the other thing I'm trying. And I'm sure there are some things out there that might work. But might work isn't good enough anymore, Mama. I need something that will work. This will work. But That's some, why I picked it. But something could happen. I don't know what it might be, but it might be worth waiting for. Just try it for two more weeks. We could have more talks like tonight. No, Mama. I'd pay more attention to you, to tell you the truth when you ask, and, and let you have your say. No, Mama. We wouldn't have more talks like tonight. Because it's this next part that's made this last part so good, Mama. No, Mama. This is how I have my say. This is how I say what I thought about it all. And I say no to Dawson and Loretta and the Chinese and Ricky and Cecil and epilepsy and you and me and Ho! I say no! Just let me go easy, Mama. How can I let you go? You can because you have to. It's what you've always done. You are my child. I am what became of your child. I found an old baby picture of me, and it was somebody else, not me. Somebody pink and fat who never heard of sick or lonely. Somebody who cried and got fed, reached up and got held, kicked but didn't hurt anybody, and slept whenever she wanted to just by closing her eyes. Somebody who mainly just laid there and laughed at the colors waving overhead and chewed on a polka dot whale and woke up knowing some new trick nearly every day. Somebody who drooled on the sheet and felt your hand pulling my quilt back up over me. That's who I started out. And this is who is left. That's what this is about. It's somebody I lost, all right? It's my own self, who I never was or who I tried to be and never got there and never will. So you see, it doesn't much matter what happens in the rest of the world, or in this house even. I'm who was worth waiting for, and I didn't make it. Me, who might have made a difference to me. I'm not going to show up. So there's no reason to stay, except to keep you company. And that's not reason enough, because I'm not very good company, am I, Mama? No, and neither am I. a strange little thought. Maybe it's not so strange. Anyway, after Christmas, after I decided to do this, I would wonder, what might keep me here? What might be worth staying for? And you know what it was? It was maybe if I really liked rice pudding or, or cornflakes for breakfast. That might be enough. Rice pudding is good. Not to me.